Well, praise the Lord and, and good, 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 good day. Good day. Good day to all of you out there on Facebook. Greetings. This is Pastor Christian. Oops, oops. And I'm here with our noonday meditation today. It is Thursday, the 26th of September. My goodness, time is running away. But I just wanted to thank uh, God for all of you who have um, been supporting this particular venture and uh, being here with us every Thursday. Amen. There are some folks who are always there. So I want to take a moment before we jump into our 15 minutes just to say thank you, thank you, thank you. There are people who travel and no matter where they are in the world, they still make sure that they log on, praise God, to, to support this, this particular ministry. So we give God thanks for you. Again, this is not a full meal. This is just a supplement. It's a, it's just a tablet. It's just a way of suggesting to you that you can do this on your own. Amen. Every day, wherever you are, take a moment and just um, talk to God. It's, it's that simple. It's that simple. So every moment, every chance, every opportunity that you get, praise God. Take a moment and reach out to the Lord as he passes by. Praise God. Grace and peace to you. To the Simpsons, praise God, always, always, and always, except last week. <laughs> God bless you, Sister Elaine. I want to continue today on what we started to talk about last week, provision, provisions in desperate times. But as per now, we're going to take a moment and pray. And I want you to pray with me. Don't know where you are. I hope you can pray. If you're at work, go to the washroom or walk outside. There are people taking smoke breaks. Why, why, not, you, why not take a prayer break? Amen. Amen. Go for a walk or something. Amen. If you can, hopefully the weather is okay wherever you are. Or go in your car. Sit down. Close the windows. Amen. Lock the doors. And uh, let's spend these few moments, praise God, together. Amen. Pray with me, please. Father, in Jesus' name, we are so thankful and grateful for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Hallelujah. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. And we thank you. We thank you for those, oh God, who are not able to join us on the phone. God, they are watching us on the, on, on other um, devices. We give you thanks. We praise your wonderful name. We lift you up because you are God and God alone. There is none like you. I thank you. Hallelujah. For somebody who's not able to call you right now or to call us right now, we pray for them. Pray for the mothers who are stressed out with the various needs at home we pray for those who are at work we pray for somebody out there oh god who desperately needs you hallelujah without you we can do nothing hallelujah we call upon your name jesus hallelujah you are able hallelujah and you're willing and you are near and we thank you hallelujah we bless your name for today and tomorrow hallelujah and for always we give you glory we give you praise thank you for this day this is the day you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for the saints, those who have been consistent, and those, God, who hear you and there every now and then, but we thank you that they at least will follow up. We pray for the, the students who are away at school, those, hallelujah, who are away from home. We pray, oh God, that this prayer, this covenant, this fasting, God, will include them. We cover them under the blood today. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank God for you. Praise God. Amen. Time runs away so quickly and it's the end of the month. I want to share with you um, some more of what we were talking about last week. Good to see you, Michelle. Amen. All right. So last week we were talking about provisions in desperate times and we, we mentioned um, the ram caught in a jam. Everybody knows that story of Abraham uh, going up the mountainside with his son, and they realized that uh, the the sacrifice was missing, and sometimes God does that. You know, uh, some we want to make sure we have everything in place before we move. But there are times that God makes provisions at the place, and sometimes He makes provisions along the way. We, we can't really study God; you can't know God. So um, there are some things that. Uh, I shouldn't say you can't know God. You can't really. Uh, God is sometimes unpredictable. He, he moves in various ways because he's God. Amen. No matter what he does, it, it works out fine. And so um, it, it's important to understand that we must put our trust in God and not in the process. 
because some, that the way he does one thing over here may not be the same way he does it over here amen but he's 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 the consistent piece of the puzzle all right and so sometimes god will say you know you get get everything you need and move out with it there are times when when you when you need something along the way and he provides it and there are some times when you need something he gives you at the end of the journey so it wasn't until abraham got to the place that the lord has spoken to him of that what that the ram was provided he, he didn't need the ram actually going up the mountain praise god he actually needed the ram for the sacrifice where the altar was going to be built but you would think if i'm going to make if i'm going to offer something then i would need to take what i need with me so that i have it with me when i need it but god sometimes provides on the spot father i thank you for an on the spot provision hallelujah Oh, with a God, an on-the-spot provision. Somebody, oh God, needs something right now. They didn't leave home with it. Hallelujah. They didn't pick it up along the way. But they found themselves in need of it. I thank you for an on-the-spot provision right now. Hallelujah. Strength right now. Help right now. Money right now. Somebody in a line and realize they left their wallet. Provisions right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Oh, glory to God. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. The second one we talked about was, was Joseph when he was sold by his brethren. And uh, they, 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 they threw him in a pit. Praise God. But the Bible said that there was no water in it. Praise God. You know, God made, a, God made a way. If there were water in the pit, he would have drowned. But thank God, God sent some merchants to, to quote unquote, bail him out. They bail him out. Amen. Of a situation. And there's somebody right now, you're, you're in a pit. You're in a pit. Praise God. You're in a predicament and you need a bailout. Don't feel bad. Sometimes we want to do it on our own. But no man is an island. This is what we call favor. Favor is when, is when God sends somebody with the resources, praise God, to help you in a situation. All right. And so we are thankful for favor right now, God. Hallelujah. Somebody with the resources, somebody with the know-how, somebody with the finances, somebody with the building skills, somebody who knows somebody in politics. In the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you for favor. We give you glory. Tug on somebody's heart right now. In the name of Jesus. And bring it to pass, we pray in Jesus' name. All right. So that's favor. We're thankful for favor. Praise God that God will cause somebody to show up who, you know, sometimes we are a little bit nervous. You know, we don't know what people's motives are, you know, especially if you're a woman, you're always suspicious because, you know, you know, sometimes men have ulterior motives and, uh, you know, but God will, I pray that the Lord sends you favor. Hallelujah. Somebody who doesn't, he's not looking for anything in return. They just want to do something for you. Amen. They, they, they get fulfillment out of doing something for you. You don't have to grease their palm. You don't have to pay them back. Hallelujah. They just want to do something because God's been good to them. Favor. I remember when, when Mordecai um, um, a spoiler plot to, to, for, that was against the king. Somebody was trying to kill him and Mordecai heard about it and spared his life. And one night the king was asleep. This is in the book of Esther. And he was asleep and he just couldn't sleep. And he had somebody take this diary, his chronicles, and they were reading through it. And they, they, you know, there was, they came across a section, glory to God, where, where, where this good deed, where his life was spared. And he said, mm, was anything ever done for that guy who, 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 who told me about the plot? And they said, we can't find anything. He said, let's do this for him. Praise God. So right now, Somebody, I pray that the Lord will put it on somebody. Your boss is talking about you. Your pastor is talking about you. Amen. Your promotion is about to happen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. God has taken away the rest, the peace, the, the, the sleep. Praise God for somebody. While you're asleep, they're up trying to figure out how to bless you, how to be a blessing to you. And we give God thanks amen for favor praise god here we have again the third thing the children of israel praise god i should have given you the references so we talk about abraham that's genesis 22 uh we talk about joseph that's genesis 37 now we are in the book of exodus and this is uh about the bitter water 
Praise God. The Israelites had left Egypt and on their way they were thirsty and they came to the water, but it was bitter. It's called Mara. Amen. The water was bitter. But right there, Exodus chapter 15, God gave Moses a word. He said, cast this branch. Praise God. Cast this branch into the water. And when Moses cast the branch into the water, the bitter water was made sweet. Right? You don't, you, I don't have to tell that a branch represents Christ. When you, when you have a branch, it means it was cut off from a tree. Praise God. Amen. He was, he was a root out of dry ground. He was cut off from the land of the living. Praise God. Amen. But, but his death brought sweetness to those people whose lives were bitter. Amen. And that's what Christ has done for us. Praise God. Exodus chapter 16. They were hungry. They were going to the wilderness. They, they didn't have any food. And, and here we go again. We're talking about favor. We're talking about food. We're talking about fresh water. We're always in the F's. The F's of the scripture. Amen. When your enemies and foes came upon you to eat up your flesh, they stumbled and fell. God will provide for your food. He said, take no thought of the of the of the of the of the uh, of what you shall eat or what you shall drink. That's your food. Praise God. Or what you shall wear. That's your fashion. Amen. Consider the lilies. Praise God. That's your fashion. He said, take no thought of your body. Amen. Whether you can make one here, white or black. That's your that's your fitness. Then he says, where your treasures are, there will your heart be also that's your finances praise god amen amen god controls your fitness your food your finances praise god your future your foes amen amen and all you got to do is control your flesh praise god so so when they were hungry praise god the holy ghost praise god inspired moses and he told him listen i'm gonna send bread from heaven I want to pause for a cause to tell somebody what time is it. That God is a God who specializes in making provisions in desperate times. I'm not God. I don't know why he chooses to do the things he does in the way he does. But because he's God, it doesn't have to be simple. We want to make it simple and easy. But it doesn't have to be easy for God. He's a God who who doesn't matter what comes his way. He, he will tell an old man. Abraham, you're going to have a child. <laughs> He's God. He can make it happen. God can make it happen. Brother Gamar, that's a, that's a good sermon topic for you. Evangelist Simpson, God can make it happen. Praise God. Lazarus don't have to just have a cough for God to heal him. Lazarus can be dead and buried and about to decompose and, and you know, actually start to decompose. Day number four is where rigor mortis Amen. Start to happen. But God raised him from the dead because he's God. Amen. He, it doesn't have to be concrete for you to walk on it, Peter. Because he's God, he can make you walk on water. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to do, do things in our time frame. It's just that we panic sometimes because we get older. Amen. We're losing strength. And we want to accomplish certain things in a certain time. But God is God. If we can learn to trust him. Amen. We received a prophetic word last night. God has chosen, chosen generation ministries. Amen. We have been chosen. Hallelujah. God is going to use us in a mighty way. The enemy has had his chance. Now it's God's turn. Amen. After the, the prophets of Baal, Baal did their thing, uh, Elijah said, now it's my turn. It's my turn. Repair the altar. And this is what we are doing. Amen. On today. Praise God. Just two more for you. Amen. Uh, Second Kings chapter four. So I gave you two from Genesis, two from Exodus. Now we are in Second Kings. You know, you know the story about this, this woman. Amen. Uh, her husband died. And to pay for his debts, they, the, 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 the people who they owed money came and took away her sons, her future. And she cried to the man of God. And he said, what do you have in your house? Praise God. She said, I don't have anything but oil. <laughs> As if the oil was nothing. Praise God. He said, all right, go get some empty vessels. Get some empty vessels. And, and when you've gotten the empty vessels, shut the door and start to pour. There's another word for you, Brother Gamar. Shut the door and start to pour. And the more she poured, God started to fill 
all of those empty vessels, all of those empty vessels, all of those empty vessels. God started to fill all of those empty vessels. Praise God. Uh, yes, yes. God started to fill all of those empty vessels. And when he filled them up until there was no more vessels left because he made provisions in desperate times. Second Kings chapter four, second Kings chapter six, the prophets were trying to build. Evangelist Simpson, listen up. The prophets were trying to build. And while they were building, trying to expand, the ax head, the ax head, the metal part of the ax fell off into a water, into the river. And you know, you know, iron in water is going to sink. But the man of God, he said, he said that the person who lost the accents, oh my God, it was borrowed. We borrowed it and we lost it. We borrowed it and we lost it. And he said, all right, don't worry. Show me where it fell. Where fell it? And the, the, the man showed him where it fell. And he said, he put a piece of stick. Here we go again. A stick. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He took a piece of stick, glory to God, threw it in the water and the axe head floated. I believe we are poised to see some things that we have never seen. People won't, I'm, I'm telling you, make sure you have your phone ready and charged to take pictures, to record it, because unless they see it, they won't believe it. They won't believe when you start to testify what God is doing with us and our chosen and how favor is coming and how miracles are happening on the dam. They won't believe it. You're going to have to prove it. You're going to have to show it. So get ready, get ready. Axe heads are going to float. Praise God. Oil is going to be provided. Amen. Everything that was stolen or lost, amen, or taken away, the Lord shall restore. And we want to give God thanks for that. That's God. He's a God of the impossibilities. He is making provision in these desperate times. And today is a, is a good day for those things to begin to happen in your life. I trust you are blessed today. Father, I thank you for those who have, have joined us. I thank you for the word of the Lord. I thank you for speaking to us and through us and for assuring us and reassuring us that it shall be well. There shall be light in the evening time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We wait on you. We look to you. Thou art the hill from whence cometh to a help. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for those who have joined us. Bless them, their circumstances, their and whatever they represent, their area of life, as we give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Grace and peace, beloved. Have the great rest of the day. Walk in favor, knowing that it shall be well with you and yours. God bless you in Jesus' name.